I am a physician who lives here in the valley. I moved here about eight years ago. My parents are originally from India. Um, they immigrated here before I was born. I was born and raised in the eastern United States in New Jersey and ultimately through a couple of cities made my way ultimately to Phoenix, Arizona. For me personally, it was actually a frustration that I had that I had uh, excelled at uh, medicine and academics, but for some reason my Islamic, my background in Islamic studies was a little bit more elementary or secondary school level and I wanted to make sure I really, really exerted myself in understanding just the basics of our tradition and so after medical school I started trying to study the life of the Prophet better to, to, as a beginning place for that. I'm concerned, and I'm continuing to be concerned, and I was concerned at the time that uh, the tradition is not necessarily being conveyed to students in a way that gets them excited about the tradition, or excited about the Prophet, peace be upon him, or that they see that the Prophet, peace be upon him, and the Quran, and all the Prophets that came before him, are actually coaches who are helping you try to be better at what you do. They're not there to make you feel bad or feel like you can't be who they are. They actually want you to be like them, and I wanted to try to be able to convey that to to students, because I remember when I was a teenager and not necessarily feeling that way from uh, the scholars I listened to or the mosques that I went to and so forth. So I wanted to come to ACA because it's a very impressive school in terms of um, its resources uh, and I felt that they have a strong desire to really constantly get better at what they do. So whether that being the teaching curriculum, whether it be in the teachers themselves and providing for the students and so forth, I feel that they were, they, they were in fact very open to me, bringing my ideas to the table and trying to connect with the students in a way that maybe no one had tried before. They were totally open to that and I really liked that and I thought that we would be a good fit because it allows me to have the freedom, the flexibility to, to experiment in ways that really connect to students in, I hope, a powerful way. I hope that we have students, first and foremost, who are prepared for college. And I, I know it sounds kind of, you know, I don't want to use the word secular, but that's really my number one objective, is are these kids ready for college? Because that's the last thing I want them to do, is be unprepared for college. Um, along that, I want them to be people who are inspired by our tradition. They don't have to memorize everything. They don't have to know everything. But I just want them to have, a, have had a good experience with the Quran or a good experience with the Prophet so that when they go through life after ACA and they go through difficulties in life or successes, they know where to, to go back to, to draw on and to grow upon what they're going through further. And they're not turned off by the tradition. They're actually turned on by the tradition. I think the ACA community at large needs to know that um, Islamic education is a very, very difficult um, challenge and it's a huge responsibility. Um, and I myself am so impressed by the people who originally took on this, this opportunity because it's such a daunting responsibility, it's such a sacred task of taking care of children and nurturing them through to adulthood. Um, that there's so many challenges along the way that's very daunting. And I think that the ACA community at large should understand uh, the challenges involved and really be there to help the school move into the future because it's challenging enough as a school, it's doubly challenging in the environment that we live in today. And so I would like the ACA community to know, especially the parents to know how much they have a role in helping the success of ACA by being partners in the education of their children, helping them do uh, their kid, help, helping them help their kids along as partners with ACA.